If you're playing Counter-Strike 2 on a low-end PC and struggling with low FPS, stutters, or lag, don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'll show you the best settings and optimizations to boost your FPS, reduce input lag, and make the game run as smoothly as possible. These tweaks will help you get the best performance, even on older or weaker hardware. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and let's get started. Level up your CS2 gaming with CSGOLUCK.com. Enjoy instant skin withdrawals, a wide range of deposit methods, and exciting game modes like Case Battles and Crash. Check out the all-new eSports matches and the revamped Wheel Mode for even more. Thrills. Unlock daily cases, climb the leaderboards, and take advantage of the new rakeback system for non-stop rewards. Use my promo code HOWTOBOOST to claim three free cases and a 100% deposit bonus. Join CSGO Luck today and start winning big. First, launch CS2 and head over to Video Settings. Start with Resolution. Set this to your native resolution for the best balance of clarity and performance. But if you're really struggling, try 1280x960 for extra FPS. Lower resolutions improve FPS by reducing the number of pixels your GPU has to render. However, going too low can make enemies harder to spot. Next, set the aspect ratio to 4.3 stretched Many pro players use this for a stretched look, which makes enemy models appear wider and easier to hit. It can also provide a small FPS boost. For refresh rate, set this to your monitor's maximum refresh rate, 120 Hz, 144 Hz, or higher. A higher refresh rate makes the game feel smoother and reduces input lag, giving you a competitive edge. Set display mode to full screen. Always use. Full screen mode for better performance and reduced input lag. Full screen mode dedicates all resources to the game, preventing FPS drops caused by background apps. Now, go to advanced video settings. For boost player contrast, it depends on your choice. Turning this off can slightly improve FPS, but may reduce visibility. Enabling it helps improve visibility, especially in dark areas. Disabling this setting prevents the game from enhancing player models which can save some GPU resources but might make enemies harder to spot in darker areas. Enabling. It makes enemy models stand out more against the background, giving you a competitive advantage without reducing FPS. Set VSync to disabled. This setting causes input lag and lowers FPS. VSync prevents screen tearing but introduces input lag, which is bad for competitive shooters like CS2. Enable NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency with Boost. This reduces input lag and helps with smoother. Gameplay. Reflex minimizes input delay, making your shots register faster, which is critical for competitive play. Set multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode to none. Anti-aliasing reduces jagged edges, but kills FPS. Disable it for max performance. Anti-aliasing smooths edges, but is very taxing on performance. Disabling it ensures max FPS dot set global shadow quality to low. Shadows are CPU intensive. Keeping them low gives a huge FPS boost. High quality shadows look nice, but require a lot of CPU power. Keeping them low improves stability. Disable dynamic shadows. This removes real-time character and object shadows. Disabling this can boost FPS significantly, especially on lower end systems, as it reduces the GPU load from rendering moving shadows. Set model and texture detail to low. Higher textures consume VRAM. Keep it low for better performance. Unless you have a high-end GPU, low texture detail ensures your system doesn't waste resources. Set texture filtering mode to bilinear. Anything higher is unnecessary and affects FPS. Filtering improves texture sharpness at a distance, but higher settings use more GPU power. Set shader detail to low. Higher settings increase GPU load and reduce FPS. Keeping this low removes unnecessary. Effects like reflections, helping with smoother performance. Set particle detail to low. This reduces the impact of effects like smoke and fire. Explosions and smoke effects are GPU heavy. Lowering this reduces FPS drops during fights. Disable ambient occlusion. This setting is unnecessary and drains FPS. It adds extra lighting effects, but it's purely cosmetic and not worth the performance hit. Set high dynamic range, HDR, to performance. This balances visuals and FPS. HDR improves lighting but is demanding on weaker GPUs. 
Performance mode maintains balance. For Fidelity FX Super Resolution, FSR, if you're on a low-end PC, enable performance mode. If you're on a mid-range or high-end system, keep it off for better clarity. FSR helps upscale resolution without heavy performance costs, but it can make the game blurry. The Gear Up Booster application is a powerful tool designed to help you achieve zero ping and maximum FPS. Download the application for free using the provided link in the description. Select the CS2 game and click the Boost button. This will initiate the network optimization process, selecting the best routing settings for you automatically. Download it now. Open Steam on your PC and click the Steam icon in the top left corner. From the drop-down menu, select Settings. In the Settings menu, go to the Download section on the left. Here you'll find the Clear Download Cache option. Click it. A prompt will appear asking for confirmation, so go ahead and confirm. Steam will then clear the cache and restart automatically. This helps fix download issues, improves startup speed, and ensures smoother performance. Next, head to the Friends and Chat section and disable animated avatars, along with other visual effects to reduce CPU and GPU usage. Then, go to the Interface, Tab and turn off Smooth Scrolling, GPU Accelerated Rendering, and Hardware Video Decoding to lower background processing and make Steam run more efficiently. Now, switch to the Library tab and enable Low Bandwidth Mode, Low Performance Mode, and disable Community Content to reduce Steam's background activity and free up system resources. After making these changes, restart Steam to apply the optimizations. While these tweaks might seem minor, they collectively improve Steam's responsiveness, leading to a smoother gaming experience. And that's it. With these optimized settings, your low-end PC should now run CS2 much smoother with higher FPS and reduced lag. If this guide helped you, drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss my latest FPS boost tips. Let me know in the comments how much FPS you gained after applying these settings. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.